Okay, so let's talk about the latest release of Pixel OS for Realme RM6 Lite 5 devices. So that means this ROM can be installed on Realme 6, 6i Indian unit, Realme 7, Narzo 20 Pro and Narzo 34G. So just like other ROMs, let's proceed from the Android version. So this is Android version and this is most probably the last Android 14 build. And talking about the build date is of 19th October and the kernel version is of 15th October. The security update is of 1st October and the kernel used in this ROM is the 4.14.348 OpenLA kernel and I think the latest one is like 3.55. I'm not sure though. Now talking about the other details in about phone there is nothing much to talk about. Everything is just like other builds so I'm not going to go deep in the about now we have some options like backup or copy data so even if you set up the ROM offline you will be able to set up it afterwards from any other device or by selecting any other Google account okay now in systems there is gestures and in navigation mode we get only gesture and three button there is no two button navigation and you can hide the gesture bar and this is working fine but we still get the tiny buttons face so it would be better if we could hide that okay so we have swipe to screenshot quick torch and other shortcuts like that then we have system update and there is no new update because this is the latest build and this is of 16th october build but i am reviewing it in december that's a different topic though now moving to other settings like wallpaper and style there is nothing much to talk about everything is just like other builds you can check the older builds in my channel they are very similar there is no major change we have refresh rate option and lip to wait which is still not working but it will work if you use it from the ambient display so in ambient display when you select wake up on pickup this works fine but sometimes when i show this this does not work but you can see this worked so in 90% of the cases it will work fine but sometimes it doesn't work like this you can see and now it works so this is the thing you can use the feature but the lift to wake dedicated function is not working just like other ROMs okay so there is nothing much to talk about but still in network and internet we get the network traffic indicator although this is not new in old versions we used to get it okay now without further ado let me show you the benchmark scores so first of all in Antutu so in Antutu I got 3,78,000 754 and this is without using the performance script or any performance modules then i tested the geekbench in geekbench i got 680 in single core and 1722 in multi-core and i also tested the cpu throttling and the cpu throttled 87 percent of its maximum performance and you can see the graph is not bad and this all tests were performed without using the performance script or using any modules for boosting the performance so the performance is not that bad in this room and now talking about the important things talking about the stock applications we get the lineage camera in this room and this is working perfectly fine all the sensors are working the dialer used in this room is the google dialer the so the announcement is present you cannot record the call silently however if you go to the settings there is an option in call recording play audio tone instead of disclaimer so there will be a, an audio tone instead of disclaimer if you use this option that will be pretty good and it's different from the announcement okay talking about other applications we have the safety app and nothing much now talking about the root section and safety net i rooted this rom with magis because the safety net was not already present out of the box as you can see the device is not certified so you have to use modules that's why i installed magis but i did not do the magis guide okay now i installed the gcam and this is gcam 8.1 which i have and then talking about the kernel issue the kernel issue is not present in this rom the stock kernel does not support kernel issue talking about the drm info the widewide l3 is supported there is no l1 as you can see and talking about the other things we get the unlimited google photo storage the google photo storage is unlimited so that's just like other builds of pixel OS. talking about the drag and drop feature the drag and drop feature is working fine you can see instead so when i open a chat like if i open messages for example and then i use the drag and drop feature you can see i simply can drop the file into the messaging and like this you can use the whatsapp and telegram also so yeah the drag and drop feature is working and the main thing that i found interesting in this rom is the working feature that is circle to search 
and this feature is working perfectly fine in this room okay so i think that's it for this review talking about the gaming performance i will be showing the gaming performance in few minutes but before that i would like to show you the tiles that we get so in this room we don't have the sionic lab because this is made by devan kar and this is official build so these are the styles that are added and you can add these styles like wi-fi bluetooth wi-fi mobile data dedicated buttons then extra dim auto brightness and these are all application tiles like the digital well-being the calculator and the high brightness mode from franco kernel manager and you can add three scripts the balanced but the battery server and the performance from these three scripts and talking about the advanced reboot we have the advanced reboot but you have to turn it on from the settings or that you can simply go to settings and search for advanced you can see i already searched for it and by default this advanced window opens so when you scroll down you will get the advanced restart and you can turn it on and in advanced restart we have system ui this time so yeah this is the review now without further delay let's get to the bgmi and for frame rate i'm using the franco kernel manager part one so i will simply turn it on from here i added the tile and also we get the osp aps meter from here you can simply use it also but i would like to use the park mode as you can see and you can drag the aps anywhere in the screen guys in bgmi by default we only get smooth plus ultra that's why i am using pubg mfps unlocker which unlocks the hdr ultra and smooth extreme and also extreme plus so when i reopen the bgmi it was removed from the ram so it is reopening the app again so let's wait for it so that means the ram management is not that good you see when the extra features like circle to search any other features like that from google are working the ram is always consumed so that's why you may not get the good ram management in a custom rom so talking about the graphic settings you can see i already set it to extreme plus and the lobby is also set to extreme plus that's why it feels so smooth now let's quickly test a team death match and the default performance is not that good in first few seconds you will get mostly 70 fps but after few seconds when the device heats up you will not get that much fps in that case you can use the performance profile or high performance mode basically i'm talking about the script As you can see in first few seconds the frame rate is almost 90. So I hope you can see both the APSs, I mean both the tiles. They both are showing around 90. And you can see the gameplay is quite smooth and it's playable there is not much lags and i'm not using any script also not even the balanced So yeah, the performance is good, the BGM is playable and now you can see we are getting frame rates around 50 fps sometimes. The frame rate is always around more than 60 at least. So that's it. The gameplay smoothness is pretty decent. So yeah, that's it. Now talking about the installation, this is Android 14 ROM so there is no issue with the recovery. You can simply use PCB like Evil 4.0 which is the latest one for Realme ARM 675 devices and let me show you that quickly. So I am on PCB like recovery here you can see the internal storage is showing as you can see. So first of all you have to go to wipe and advanced wipe select the Dalvi cache data and these are optional I mean these two are optional if you are using magisk and simply wipe them just by swiping after that go to install and navigate to the directory where you have saved the rom zip and then simply click on the rom zip here i don't have the rom zip that's why i'm just showing you and after selecting the rom you don't have to tick and tick anything just swipe to flash the rom and after that 
go to Y for my data type yes and hit enter. And after hitting enter, you will see something like this and the ROM will be flashed. Then you will get an option in the bottom right corner to reboot to system then you can simply click on reboot system and the ROM will boot normally there will be no issue so yeah this is it for the review of pixel os 19th october build if you found this video helpful make sure to give it a like if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to this channel i will see you in the next one bye bye